Wait, isn't this... The building where Klein's assassin was hiding? Yeah. On Noctigal's orders, I imagine. Regardless, the responsibility for Lord Klein's death lies solely on my shoulders. Why would you say that? It wasn't any of our faults. But unfortunately it is. Do you remember the arrow that pierced his heart? Yeah, I remember it being pretty unusual. It's a highly lethal design used by Noctigal's personal guard. It was an invention of a Roshagal military tactician. He employed those arrows in his battles, and they brought him many great victories. Wait, that sounds like... Yes, I was that tactician. Back then, I was known as the Conductor, and cared only about flaunting my abilities. Now you've paid the price. Alvin, come on! No, he's absolutely right. In the end, my abilities couldn't protect the one person I had sworn to keep safe. The only thing they're good for is killing. I don't think that's how Klein viewed you, though. Even in his last words, he wanted you to look over the country. If he believed you were only good for killing, he never would have said such things. Thank you, my friends. I still have much to do before I can fulfill Master Klein's last request. But my regret cuts all the deeper for knowing my arrows took the life of a man who trusted me so. Hmm. I'm home. You're okay. Of course he is. I've been with him the whole time. Jude, I need you to leave us alone for a bit. How come? Because I said so. Hmm. You know kids will rebel if you don't tell them what's up, right? You're the one who'd be in trouble if I told him what's up. Come now, you make it sound like I'm holding Jude hostage. Aren't you? If anything, I'm protecting him from Exodus. Not to mention, we're friends that trust and rely on each other. <sighs> Believe what you want. No skin off my back. But you know, your son may be a lot more grown up than you realize. He's just a child going through a rebellious phase. Isn't that the phase that turns kids into adults? Maybe he's not there yet, but he ain't no child either. <sighs> Must be tough being a dad. Sacrificing so many things for your family, only to have your son grow up and leave you. That's just how it works. I accept that. You always were like that, Dr. Mathis. I can see why Jude became an honor student. What were you talking about? Just chatting about our old people diseases. Want the details? No, that's okay. You and Dad have a right to discuss what you want to. How very prudent of you, as always. Guess he's still got some kid in him after all.
look at this. More wanted posters of Jude and Mila. Whoa, you both look so evil. Seriously, what was the military thinking when they made these? These jokers protect your country? Actually, they use a special spirit art expressly for the purpose of creating these posters. Instead of focusing on outward appearances, the art renders one's deepest essence into physical form. Seriously? So this poster is actually showing how we are on the inside? Impossible. I can sort of see it, actually. Look how well this illustration captures Mila's callousness. And the one of Jude captures his surprisingly decisive side like nothing I've ever seen. The more I look at it, the more it really resembles Jude and Mila. Oh no! They'll be caught for sure! Wow, I didn't realize it was so bad. I was a fool not to fear this poster. To think that human aesthetics might be our undoing. Oh dear. How am I going to tell them that it was all a joke now? What you got there? This? It's a pendant. I've seen that before. Isn't that Mila's? You said you treasured that pendant. I did. That's why I gave it to Jude. Hmm. A gift from Mila, huh? A treasured relic of Lord Maxwell herself. I wonder how much I could hawk that for. It's just a bead made out of glass. Its value is purely sentimental. How interesting. Could we ask you to tell us the story behind it? Was it about 14 years ago? I left near carriages for a day. I remember happening across some children and playing games with them. I thought you just stayed in your shrine while people worshipped you. Normally, yes. That was the first and last time I ever played like humans do. Even after I told them who I was. They didn't hold back in the slightest. They beat me soundly at tag and hide and seek. I'm glad you didn't use the power of the four to win. I might have. But I had ordered the four away on a special mission that day. So if they had been there, you really would have used them? A special mission for the four, 14 years ago, huh? They were wild, rambunctious children. But when I left, they gave me that glass bead and said we could play again tomorrow. They must have wanted to be friends. You know, I never felt closer to humans than I did on that day. That was when I knew I wanted to protect them. A lovely story. I know just how you feel. Got that? You're not allowed to see him anymore. Who asked you? I'm old enough to choose my own boyfriends. Damn it, why won't you listen to me? Out of my way! I'm sorry. My little sister's in a bad mood right now. Why must she torture me like this? If only our parents were still alive. That boyfriend of hers has problems, but when I tell her not to see him, well, you saw what happened. But isn't that her choice to make? 
I know, but I can't bear to watch her make a mistake like that. I'm sorry, I need to go look for her. I know you're hiding there. Give me a break. Where does she get off talking about me like that? So why do you stay with her? Just go off on your own. I can't. She's been sick and weak for as long as I can remember. She needs my help. Hmm. Besides, she's my sister. Interesting. Oh crap, there she is! See ya! Say, Mila, do you have a family? No. Though the four may be something close to one. Do you ever wish you had one? No. I can't say it's an idea that I've really thought about. I see. Having my own family. Huh. No, that's ridiculous. breaks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Romantic. I can't go on like this. Alvin is in need of medical attention. Uh, Are you wounded? Let me see. It's not bad. I'm okay. Ellie doesn't cry. Hmm. Bringing Elise may not have been such a good idea. Hey, now, stay sharp. There may still be enemies. You need to concentrate. Ah, oh, indeed. Forgive me. Well, well. The legendary tactician brought low by a child. Ah, but to see her grow strong like that does sweeten the sting. I imagine watching kids mature is one of the joys of old age. Indeed it is. And I'll be just as proud when it happens to you.
Give it to us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced, but I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it, as long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while, and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys. When I see a sunset like this, I can't help but think of home. Sunset like this, I can't help but think of dinner. Are we eating soon?
My aching back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? Oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude. But I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have Gnome send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on, then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. Got it. never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes, it was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey. Does that mean you can also use Spyrix to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. 
The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Riza Maxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny streetlight to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy, and that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four, and anyone can use that power to kill others, just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. She's right about one thing. Weapons like the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. But is Spyrex itself really such a bad thing? You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigal army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. But it has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But... Haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled. My thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's got to be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you. You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain. But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist. That's exactly how it looks. Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. Got it. 
It's a miracle! You can walk! Ivor? What are you doing here? Who's this guy? Mila's handmaid. Now that your legs have healed, you must return to the village at once. Please, if something else were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I cannot return yet. I have business in Fenmont. In that case, allow me to accompany you. That won't be necessary. I have all the help I need. From these people? These people, Jude and Leia here, helped me walk again. They can be trusted. Jude again? Uh, I'm Leia. Nice to meet you. 
He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again. And here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle? It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony! Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fu- Ivor, run! Huh? Ha! 
that timid? I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's solemn and Renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivor, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah. the bird that delivered the letter you dirty bird when Mila saves the four great spirits she will need the key in your possession this will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony! That Ivor guy is something else, huh? Apparently, he's Mila's handmaid. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised at her unusual taste in friends. They don't get much weirder than that. <laughs> You're one to talk, Tipo. He scared me. He was so mad at Jude. Well, he does attract the weird ones. <laughs> You're one to talk, Leah. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sounds like Ivor found some useful information. I hadn't heard about these wyverns before. Wyverns are a special breed of flying monster native to a remote region of Ajul. They're quite intelligent, but very rare. And only those who have mastered a special art can train them. Is it really safe to ride one? That depends. I've heard that if a naughty child tries to ride, the wyvern will gobble her right up. Is that true? Don't worry, Ellie's a good kid. Yeah, she'll be fine. But what about you? Hmm. It would be a shame to see Tipo get eaten. 
That can't be good for a wyvern's stomach. Huh? No! You can't let it eat me! It's okay! You're a good kid, too! <laughs> well, he's a gullible one. I can tell you that much. Are we really gonna ride a wyvern? They sound really scary. You know, I don't think any of us have ever used a gel yet. That just shows you how skilled we are at combat. I don't like gels. They get stuck in my teeth. They have the same texture as I do. I'm sure they pack way too many calories. I don't even know what gels are supposed to be. Candy? Medicine? Some sort of berry? That's a good point. Gels are everywhere, but I haven't a clue as to where or how they're made. For all we know, they could be alive. Ew! I don't want to hear anymore! That's so messed up! Don't say things like that! That did cross the line. I... I'm sorry. Now we'll probably never be able to eat them. Though, personally, I love the damn things. I haven't fought in a very long time. I guess no one wants some old geezer channeling spirits for them. Thank you. 